this is what I looked like when I was 17. Amazing orange filters, gotta love it. But this was what I secretly kind of wanted to look like. And today I looked in the mirror and I said to myself, Haley, you have the power to make your 17 year old dreams come true. So in this video, we're gonna make it happen. When I was 10 years old, I thought that 17 year olds were the coolest people ever and I could not wait to be a teenager and then when I was 17 I thought that college kids were like the apex of society I couldn't imagine talking to one because they were just so cool here are some pictures of me when I was 17 I think it was the start of me trying to find myself and at the time I really wanted to be hipster I think a lot of people in that era wanted to be hipster but I would listen to certain bands I would dress a certain way um I think it just represents like the beginning of my coming of age story <laughs> and I still very much feel like I'm in the midst of it but First, right now, I'm just gonna go get some eyelash extensions. Here's the before, here's the after, and say goodbye to my hair. Say goodbye to it. All right, here are my roots. Here's the before, and let's go chop it off, shall we? I'm excited for you. I know, I feel like I feel most myself with short hair, so I'm excited to go back to that. Not good. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. No way. No way. Get out of here. It's like OG Haley. That's I know. crazy. No way. You look so cute. <laughs> Come here. That is so perfect. It does remind me of when we first started dating. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Ooh, I like a hat it's with this so short good. hair. I feel like I look happier with short hair. Well, I'm glad he liked the short hair. You know when you like get new hair and then you're like, ooh, I'm gonna wear all these different outfits with it. Was that a smooth transition? This video is sponsored by ThreadUp. Thank you ThreadUp for sponsoring and partnering with me on this video. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, they are an online consignment and thrift store with women and kids clothing. There's over 40,000 brands, new arrivals every day. You can get high quality shoes, accessories, handbags for up to 90% off estimated retail prices. They've probably got your favorite brand on that website and it's also the more economical and resourceful option for the earth. And they gave me a big fat coupon code to share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna show you the pieces that I got and how I would style them. To achieve the dark academia look, I chose this black Gap sweater vest, which was originally $40, but I paid $12.99. And then this black poppy skirt, which was originally about $27 and I paid $11.99. These are Vincent pants that were originally $285 and I got them at the thread up price of $102.99. And of course, a staple pair of brown leather boots from Fry, which were originally $275, which I got for $199. And then I got one of those staple black leather shoulder bags from Coach, which was originally $450 that I got for $49.99. Insane. And if you want an even bigger discount, you can use code Haley fam for an extra 30% off your first thread up order. Anyways. Today's a day I have to take the photo in mind because I just scheduled an appointment to make my hair brown tomorrow Because I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit sick of the blonde But in my head in my vision I need to take this photo with the blonde hair before it's gone because this is what I have to live up to 17 year old Haley's dream And it's so weird. I'm about to be 21 like that is a four-year age difference And I still feel I still feel 17 years old Yeah, I'm about to go into Ulta and buy a ton of makeup because for the look that I want it's kind of like a heavier makeup like contour fake eyelashes, all that sort of stuff. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So let's go buy tons of makeup. I secured the makeup and then I got this. I just realized that tomorrow I will no longer need purple conditioner, which means we should use the entire bottle on my head and see how cool toned I can get it. All of the photos of girls that I thought were so cool had like white. Hair. But I'm gonna try to get my hair as silvery as possible because I'll never need that purple conditioner. Well, I might go back to blonde, who knows? <laughs> Yummy. It's this nice blue color. Even if you're totally fine, the act of putting hair dye in your hair just makes you look like you're going through an existential crisis. I will see you in an hour. It looks so purple. The hair's actually 
why does it look so purple on camera? It doesn't really look like this in real life, but we're gonna deal with that later. Right now I'm gonna put on some fake tattoos. I really want tattoos, but every time that I have them on my arms, I end up really not liking them because I feel like they make my arms look like more buff and I already feel like I have buff arms and I have a friend who has arm tattoos and she said it if you just don't put them up here if you keep them like here down then they can still not emphasize your bicep or something like that so that's what I'm gonna try to do and I kind of want to like recreate the pose that I'm doing in this photo here so I'm thinking about doing tattoos here and maybe one on my hand so that it can recreate that pose what does this shirt remind me of this reminds me of a character from some show, I just can't think of it. Okay, so I want this one like this. Okay, well, listen, the amount of times that I've done these fake tattoos, people are like, you would honestly save money at this point just getting a real tattoo, but I wouldn't save money if I end up not liking that tattoo and then getting laser removal, whatever. So I'm just gonna keep doing these for a while, okay? Okay, we got a flower vase here. I have this big one as well. I always wanna put them like up here. Nice. And we got one last one. Little butterflies for my hand. And then we're gonna try to cake the crap out of my face. Got them all on. Let's go cake my face. Good morning, guys. I have to leave in two hours to get my hair dyed brown. So I need to beat my face really fast and then get this picture, this one picture of this idealized version of myself with my little tats. Ugh. Developed quite nicely before I get brown hair because brown hair is a completely different look. Let's start beating my face bah, bah, bah. But then since I'm gonna put heavy makeup on my face I can wear it to my appointment so I can feel pretty with new hair because I'm always super shocked after getting new hair Which I was planning on cutting it and dyeing it brown I just didn't want to do it all at once because I knew it might like shock me too much So this was the plan all along didn't want to tell anyone in case I change my mind, but I didn't. My nice swollen allergy face. Okay, now we have a nice base to work with. We're gonna do a good old on the floor makeup. Blotting lotion, I have no idea what that means. I got sent this stuff from Yves Saint Laurent makeup and it looks like a kit for like foundation basically. So I had to cut my nails to go bouldering yesterday. I'm gonna start with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Illuminating. I'm just making up words, Pure Canvas Primer. That's what it's called. You know it's serious if I'm using primer. I never use primer. Okay, I have this Bare Look Tint from Yves Saint Laurent that they sent and hopefully it's the right shade. Whoa, okay, here we go. I needed to go to another mirror because I can't see. It's definitely like not the right shade. It's a little yellow for me and I kind of look like peanut butter, but it also kind of looks good. So I'm just gonna put it on my neck and we're just gonna wear a shirt that hides the rest. You know what I mean? Ooh, I wanna do a nose contour. I've never done that before. Time to bake. Oh my gosh. It feels like there's a dust storm under my eyes right now. Oh. It feels so heavy, I wanna take it off. How do the beauty gurus withstand that for like over a minute? Oh, it feels so bad. I baked. I have drier skin though, so I feel like, oh, it's so dry. I just wanna go back in with like the wet beauty blender and like give some moisture. Okay, so I'm gonna do some all over bronzer and then I'm going to use the Kat Von D shade and light. I am so excited. I have watched like every makeup tutorial ever has this palette. At Ulta, they had a whole other tab on it so that you couldn't steal it because that's how popular these are. And I've never like actually used a contour palette. So let me watch the makeup tutorial that I was watching real quick. Taking the middle, I'm gonna do a straight line right above my cheekbone. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I look like a hollowed out ghost right now with the this is the thing about me is i don't have like different brushes so i just keep swirling this one around hoping that's okay because next you're supposed to take the lighter one and put it underneath shade and light baby okay okay let's well, nose contour oh boy not my best work i don't think okay i literally look botch <laughs> This is a lot of makeup. My hair is like purple. I got my tattoos. I got a black outfit on and I'm ready for Ryan to take my picture. Here's the finished. 
finished product. We had to take the photos on the camera that you're looking at, so. This is so weird, my hair's like purple again. This is definitely giving me the same vibes as that photo shoot I did when I was 17, except a little bit more modified. I think we achieved what 17 year old Haley at the time thought she wanted to look like. Um, I definitely want to look a little, little not like that anymore, so I'm gonna go achieve that now by getting brown hair. Hey, on to the next transformation, I guess. Just a little reminder that you can get 30% off your first order on Thread App with the link in my description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you somewhere else on the internet.